Which values do you live by? Hey friends, it's Pastor Mike from Fellowship Church. Always good to connect with you midweek. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're enjoying this little bit of warmer weather as we head towards spring. That question for you again, which values do you live by? Which values help you make life decisions? I had a couple of interesting experiences over the last couple of weeks that got me thinking about values. First of all, last week, I spent some time at the local community high school here doing something called a mock interview. That's when they bring some people in to do pretend job interviews with junior students. And of course, those junior students all bring in their resumes. And we're supposed to look over their resume and then ask them questions that would be appropriate for a job interview. And in looking for the, over those resumes, it's not hard to recognize it. Yeah, students are focused focusing on achievements. These are the grades I'm getting in school. These are the jobs I've had so far. Here are the things that I've done in my life. Perhaps you filled out a resume at some point in time in your life as well. And when we fill out resumes, we always list some qualifications and achievements in our life. The week before that, I performed a memorial service, officiated a service for someone who had passed away. And there were several people from the family, friends, who got up and shared some memories. We call those things eulogies. To eulogize someone means to say good words. That's just what a eulogy means. And here's something I noticed in eulogies. I've heard a lot of them over the years. People don't talk a lot about resume types of things. They don't talk about qualifications. They don't talk about the kinds of things that people have done. I've heard a lot of eulogies over the years. I don't think anyone's ever talked about a person's grade point average or even college degrees or the things that they accomplished academically, intellectual pursuits, anything like that. When a person gives a eulogy, they're almost always sharing memories. Here's what I remember about this person. Here's an experience that we shared together. Here's what I know about this person's character. And that gets me thinking, friends. There are two kinds of values in this world, and I wonder which values you're living by. The first kind of values are values that I call resume values. Those are accomplishments. Those are achievements. Those are the kinds of things that you and I might put on our calendar or our to-do list. They're the kinds of things that we strive for. Uh, maybe job promotions or, or changing of lifestyle or something like that. A resume value is something for which we'd say, I achieved that or I accomplished that. They're the kinds of things that we tend to be proud of. And maybe they're the kinds of things that belong on your resume. Here's another kind of value, eulogy values. Eulogy values don't end up on resumes, but they're the kinds of things that people remember most about us. Eulogy values are almost always relational. They're based upon experiences that we share with other people. They're based upon relationships that we've built, the ways in which we've cared for people, the ways in which we loved people, the ways in which we invested into people, the ways in which we helped to develop people, the things that we've done in our own life that maybe they're even God-related in which we've worked on developing our own spiritual maturity so that we might become more Christ-like and therefore influence those around us. Friends, those are eulogy values. So which values are you living by? because you and I will make decisions based on a kind of value in our life. Almost every decision that you make in your life is based on some kind of a value. You'll either make decisions in this life based on resume values, or you'll make decisions in this life based on eulogy values. What do you want to be remembered for? And what do you make decisions based on? A little deeper thought here on this Wednesday, but you're either living your life according to resume values or eulogy values. Which values work best for you? Friends, just a thought to share with you on a Wednesday. Hope you're doing really well this week. Know that we love you, we care for you, we are praying for you, and may your values speak really well of your life. Take care, God bless, bye-bye.